What is up guys, Fado82 coming at you with a weekly Rust update video. Reactive targets have been deployed into the game. They're going to be a non-default common blueprint. They're going to run you 100 wood and 250 metal fragments per reactive target. They're modeled after a player's hit points, so each target has 100 HP. And once 100 HP is dealt, the target will go down. You can snap it back up by hitting the E key, or you can move it completely by holding down E and picking it back up. So it's a deployable item and then also a redeployable item. If you hit the bullseye, it simulates the headshot of a player with a distinct gratifying sound effect and visuals. The item is going to be deployable on and off foundations and has 250 overall durability. Now we're taking a look at the first incarnation of the leveling or experience system in Rust that was live on the pre-release branch this week. I wasn't able to test it out as much as I wanted to, I was experiencing frequent crashes on that branch, and that was due to a bug in the Unity beta, and Gary has encouraged us to not go over and play around with this until that's ironed out, which is likely to take a few weeks. But, a player named ShotDocs was stepping up to the plate, he kept going back into the fray, and we're going to take a look at his screenshots in a moment, and he has a great post on Reddit, so go ahead and check it out, I'm linking it below. But he had some great insights, and he tested this out after experiencing frequent crashes, he would go back in, and he get up past level 20. Some of his insights were that this is going to shake things up quite a bit. Things like doors, cupboards, these are not things we're going to require on level 1. Some of them are going to be default blueprints, but even default blueprints require our levels and experience to unlock. So it's going to shake up the early game profoundly. The value of items is likely going to change because AKs and bolts are going to be very intense in terms of the amount of uh, levels and experience that you need to unlock them and this is really going to be something that is going to change the game in ways that we don't fully understand yet so we're not going to talk too much about it or speculate on it at this point but we're just going to have to see how it progresses currently xp was gained through hitting nodes but that will likely change in the future having other options of acquiring xp as well it will unlikely be that you'll get xp from killing players but that could be a potential a giant Sasquatch mutant hybrid with a huge wang may soon make its way into Rust as a potential PvE threat. This is conceptual artwork at this point in time, so don't get too excited guys, but leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this as a potential PvE threat in Rust. We saw a glimpse of some further iterations of the dungeon areas in the game, specifically the sewers that are being retextured, so they're going to be much more inviting, and that hard on the eyes white skin is going to be replaced with these new textures which are really beautiful. Speaking of these areas, we saw what we believe is a rare occurrence on Rustopia this seed, where one of the tunnels here actually ended up being underwater. We've had a lot of seeds before and we've never seen this. Have you guys ever seen this before? We're just curious if it's a rare occurrence or just something we've never seen before. While you're taking a look at some concept artwork here for a freezer and some spinning wheels, you are listening to some haunting and beautiful music by Alex from Face Punch, which is going to be linked below in the SoundCloud page. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out on SoundCloud. There's the female models been further developed upon here, specifically with regard to the Asian ethnicity, and the shirts now fit correctly. Newmans will soon have teeth, so they'll be chomping at your penis with some teeth. I'm hoping to see those varied by the Steam model as well, with some chipped, rotted teeth, if you're unlucky with your Steam ID. As always, Fado82, peace.